Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a very glowy spring yet not quite summer foundation routine. And you guys know I have oily skin so there will be a lot of powder involved to you know combat that. So if you want to see how I got this very glowy highlighted look, then please keep watching. Find my eyes, even though this tutorial is not really focused on my eyes at all, it's mostly about my face skin because we want the glow so I'm gonna prime my face yeah, I've been using the Smashbox photo finish foundation primer this is a sample I got from Sephora with an order and I just put that everywhere on my face except my nose then on my nose area I use the makeup forever step one skin equalizer and it's the mattifying primer So for my first step, when it comes to my face makeup, I like to um, correct, of course, under my eyes, right here, I have a blemish right there, under my eyes, around my mouth, see my Smashbox color correcting stick. This thing, I need to buy another corrector. This was good, but it, I feel like this happened a little too quickly for my taste, because I had to keep sharpening it, otherwise it would like scratch my skin. For my foundation, I'm using a mixture between the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream and my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. And both of these are in my winter shades, Tobacco and Classic Tan. And I'm using my winter shades because, as you can see, it's been quite gloomy lately and I have not gotten a tan yet. So, my summer shades would be too dark for me. And I'm going to take this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer in the shade Y41. I feel like this because then how do I apply it? It's like really annoying. Come out. Now that that concealer is blended in nicely, I'm going to bathe my face because it is really hot out now and I get oily much faster and much oilier. So now that we're all uh, baking, I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes and then we'll proceed. Now it is that time to take off all this powder. We're looking especially matte right now, but we're going to um, fix that in a second. But first I'm going to bronze, not contour. Bronze. I wanted to use the NYX Pro Contour and Highlight Palette 
today instead and I'm going to take this color and use that. I'm going to take my Lancome powder, just because it's a, a little bit too light, The um, where I highlighted, just to... Now I'm breaking a rule, a very important rule, well, I don't know if it's very important, but I break it all the time. And I'm taking this Juve highlighter in Tiare I got at IMATS, and I'm, it's a cream highlighter, and I'm putting that on top of my baked face. Because if I put it under, the baking would have mattified it and it would have went away. So I'm not going to rub, I'm just going to dab it. Once I've blended it all out, it's time to go my powder highlight. And I know you guys did not think I was going to be showing this palette using it as my mirror and not use it in this video. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some of Prosecco Pop, which is this gold color here. So I'm pretty sure you guys have seen what this palette looks like before. So I'm taking some of Prosecco Pop. I'm just going to run it over Ooh, a lot, but it's okay. I take champagne pop a little bit. Put that just right here. I'm gonna do this pop a little bit more. I'm gonna put this on my cheek. Wait, down the bridge of my nose. Okay. I don't normally do this, but since I want to look glowy. And there's your glow. So if you want, you can use a matte blush or a shimmery blush. I actually have not used Rose Spritz yet. But I have used um, Pamplemousse and what is the other one? Amaretto. I've mixed them together. So maybe I should try Rose Spritz today. No, I think I'm going to mix all three. Take some of these two first. Amaretto and Pamplemousse. Then I'm going to take some of Rose Spritz and just use that, I think it as a blush topper too. So for, that's pretty much all for my face makeup. So I'm going to go through the rest of my, I'm going to do my lips and probably my eyes and then I'll be right back. So I'm done the rest of my makeup. I put on my lipstick. I'm wearing Reblana by Bite. For my eyes, I just used the palette. I put in um, Prosecco, Prosecco Pop on my eyes and I used Amaretto blush in my crease and that was pretty much it. Then I'm going to take my makeup finishing spray, the oil control version, and I'm going to use that. Set my face. And once that is done, then you're all done. So I'm going to put on my hijab and be right back. So this is what the finished look looks like. All glowy cheeks and I guess nose and eyes and everywhere. And I didn't use a matte lipstick because I feel like that would kind of take away from the glowiness. You could if you'd like, but I wear matte all the time so I just wanted to switch it up a bit. So if you like this look, then please give it a thumbs up. Please leave comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see in the upcoming. Just let me know what you'd like to see. Um, Ramadan's coming up. Literally, well, by the time this video goes up, it should be during Ramadan. So Ramadan Kareem, if you're um, observing the month of Ramadan. And should I start doing Eid makeup tutorials? Let me know.
Don't forget to follow me on social media and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!